Hello everyone, I'm Wyatt from Husky Robotics FRC Team 3061 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the FRC Visual Studio Code software for teams using Java. Alright, so today we're pretty much just going to be following along with this website right here. So if you guys want to pull that up on your own, there's going to be some very useful links here that you're going to need to click on. The first thing we're going to do is download the installer from GitHub. So if we head over here, you're going to first need to find out whether you have a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. Most of us will probably have a 64-bit system, but it's worth checking. So I'm just going to click on the 64-bit installer zip file, and we're just going to give that a minute to download. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, we're just going to open that in our downloads folder and extract the files. It's going to be alright to just extract that right to your downloads folder, since we're just extracting the installer. So there's no need to keep these files permanently once we're completed with this process. All right, so now we're just going to run the installer. All right, so it's going to tell you that Windows protected your PC because it suspects that this is suspicious, but we're going to hit more and then run anyway because we do trust this application. It comes right from first. Okay, so here you can decide whether to install for all users or the current user. Uh, I'm just going to choose all users for this setup. Okay, so here we are with the WPI library installer. So the first thing we're going to have to do is download Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to download right here and we're going to wait for that to install on our computer. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is just make sure we have all of these boxes checked and then execute install. Alright, so now that it's done installing, if we check our desktop, we should see these three icons right here, FRC VS Code, FRC Shuffleboard, and FRC Smart Dashboard. So we can choose FRC VS Code to open up the software. And so here you are, you've got everything installed, but there's just one more step we've got to do for teams using the Phoenix firmware, which includes us, 3061. All right, so now what I've done is I've just Google searched CTRE Phoenix software download, and I just clicked on the first link right here. So now we're going to scroll down a little bit to this link right here, which where we, is where we will find the Phoenix installer zip file. Then we click on Phoenix framework releases, and that brings you to another GitHub repository like this. Since I'm using a Windows system, I'll be downloading the Windows version. Of course, there's also the non-Windows version for those of you on Mac or Linux. All right, so now we're just gonna once again open that up in our downloads and extract the files. And once that's open, we'll just run the installer application. We'll once again have to tell it to run anyway by clicking on more info. Okay, so now that we're at the setup, we're just going to hit next. We're going to make sure what we want is checked. And then we're just going to agree, agree again, and let that get installed. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this red W icon in the corner and we're going to enter Manage Vendor Libraries. We are going to choose the option for Install New Libraries Offline, and you should see this option for CTRE Phoenix. While we're at it, we'll install the WPI command libraries as well. Then we'll just build. And one thing I noticed when doing this is that I actually had to open some, a project first. So if you have problems with this step of installing the libraries, uh, you can just hold off on that for a little bit and I'll help you work through it 
uh, once we're together. All right, so that's it for installing FRC VS Code. There are a few other tools to install, but that's the main one, so we can all get started writing some code together. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day.